As you can see from the title, we're going to be going a little bit further into Koala on this one. Obviously last time out, I showed you my kind of general workflow with Koala and how I like to render things down and then open them back up into Ohm. Today, what I want to show you is some of the more in-app stuff. So basically I'm going to be using Koala to process samples within it, then resample them back into the app and sequence them again. And you can do that time and time again. And obviously you can mangle the sounds into something completely different. I'm going to give you some sort of pretty basic examples of what you can do using the eight filters that currently ship with Koala. There are lots more on the way that allow you to do even more amazing things. But for now, obviously, you'll see how much you can do with these. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to take this Rhodes note. I'm going to make sure I've quantized the track and I'm going to record a track of purely just that. I'm going to go to the perform window and pitch it up with some reverb, a bit crush it, filter, Okay, so I resample the loop. You'll notice when I did the effects there, I had them on hold. Really, really important. Can't stress that enough. You have to make sure that hold is pressed down. Otherwise, you can't. It'll just do it temporarily. Same note. I've pitched it down. Filtered it again. Resample loop. Again, now you can see that appears next to the other one. So you can pitch it down here. I don't think it needs it for this, so we'll go back in.
You hear the clipping at the start there. It's also quite quite long, so I'm going to edit that down. Look, I can bring that down all the way here. Still got a bit of a clip at the front, so we'll edit that front off as well. So it's a nice solid bass tone that we've got now. Okay, so I had a little play around with that, just to show you some of the effects. I actually think there's too much going on in that, so I'm going to copy it over to this new section. Let's cut down the bars just to one bar. two bars
take off the key. Like how grainy it is when we pitch it down. Okay, let me try something. Okay, loads of random notes. Let's see what we can do with this though. So I'll delete all the other elements so I've got just the soloed notes that we've just recorded. Get rid of all the drums. Get rid of the bass. Let's affect this. Okay, let's resample that again. Got it. Check we quantize again so it hits at the start. much better. We push that down an octave, keep it in the background. I want to load in an 808 kick. Now, I'm loading this in, this is an E, but I know my initial note is, there you go, see that's an E. I know that my initial note is a C. So if you can see here on the pitch, I can get quite precise with it. I'll bring it down about 400, that's going to bring it back down to a C. So I want to tune my kick so that it's the same as the melodic elements of the track. So it's roughly and key there with the bass. Obviously I couldn't let the whole video go out without putting on one a little bit. Now I'm going to use this differently, I'm going to bring in Koala on its own, just into a single channel into Ohm, so that I can process effects on the master. Now as you come down you'll see, it's not in this first list here that I'd usually go to. So we're going to have to go into the 
enter app audio. And there we go, we've got Koala. Now it loads up straight away with the first thing that's that's gonna play. So I'll change the tempo, but it's gonna load with the first bank. Now obviously this is actually bank nine that we're in now. In fact, it might be 11. I kind of got into a bit of a groove there, spent a fair bit of time playing around with different effects, having way too much fun, but perhaps quite boring for a lengthy video. So I've faded it out there for you to save you from it. Hopefully you got something from that. As I said, I was uh, taking you through the ideas of how I use resampling in Koala to kind of mangle the sounds in different ways, get different results. Obviously there's loads and loads more that you can do with it. If you've got any questions about anything, if I kind of went through too quickly, or if there's anything at all that you just want me to clarify, Drop me a message and I'll do my best to kind of cover that for you. I appreciate there wasn't a lot of talking once I got in there. Not easy to talk over the music and I kind of figured I'd kind of go through it and show you what I was doing. Like you were kind of stood on my shoulder, sat on my shoulder, sort of watching the process. Let me know if that worked for you. If it didn't work for you, obviously I can, I can change it up for future videos. Thanks again for watching.